So I have two targets in front of me. Uh, they're both at approximately 10 yards. A little bit farther than your typical uh, home defense engagement. Although, to be honest, uh, yeah, I would rather be a bit farther away if that were the case. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is not very much. I just wanted to try out the shotgun. Uh, bird shot. Throw it on the big target. Uh, some effect. Just like uh, shooting a a few hundred BB guns at the same time. Guy's not gonna be happy, but you know, is he gonna survive? I don't know. And uh, this is a wax slug shooting at the left target. That one did not stay together. It's probably due to the heat, it's probably falling apart. Wax slugs are not really advisable for you know, serious use, mostly because uh, they tend to melt. But when they work, I think uh, that's pretty good uh, punch. Okay, I'm gonna try a few of these in a row. That felt more stout, but I missed. <laughs> Doesn't do much when you miss. Solid hit. That, that was a direct hit. <coughs> Finish off some bird shot. Cool. Now, what I'm suspecting is that uh, I'm not getting a consistent amount of lead shot in those shells so it's uh the power varies between shells uh, <laughs> meanwhile the bird shot loads seem to be consistent so I just wanted to see how fast I could shoot this thing uh, I didn't really uh, tell you what this is this is a savage Stevens 94 also known as a Revelation model 350A. I chopped down the barrel. Uh, much to everyone's dismay, yeah, I did chop it down. Maybe I could have done a better job, but you know, uh, the last time I did this, I posted uh, an image to a Facebook group of my Mossberg 500 that I chopped down to 18.5 inches. To make it look like a police shotgun, it looked really cool, it worked pretty well. Uh, I have videos on that, and then I sold it. Well, people said, hey bro, that's a pre-1968 model you got there. Uh, we're gonna start a mob, we're gonna burn down your fucking house. Because you had to destroy something I would've paid $400 for. Like, uh, I didn't receive that offer. I never received any offers on that thing, actually. It was uh, painted green. I had to strip off all the paint. I had to remove all the rust. I had to replace the magazine tube spring, the magazine tube follower. Uh, I had to replace the firing pin, the ejector, the stock, the fore end cap, and a few other dozen things. But one thing I did not receive was uh, an offer to buy that shotgun for $400. Uh, keep in mind, this is back in like uh, 2016 when the uh, Mossberg 500s are worth like $200 for the old and used one at most. I don't know, people are weird. Maybe, maybe I did destroy history. Maybe this is one of the last catalog or like department store shotguns in the world. Who knows? <laughs> the last Revelation 350. Uh, I bought this thing for 180 bucks. A bit high, but. I uh, don't oh know, if, you, if you're if you willing to pay $400 for this thing, hit me up, you know? <laughs> the zombies are coming! That was a misfire? Oh, that was a misfire. <laughs> oh. Weak firing pin? So, 
one annoying thing to pop up is that uh, I put some Walmart accessories on this gun. Not, not a great idea. This uh, shot shell holder, it holds the shells pretty well, but there's no rubber underneath this, which would have added a bit of grip. Now it's just sliding forward. Uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum, this limb saver works really well, but and it fits pretty well until you start having to take your shoulder off the gun because it the stuff is still grippy but it's not grippy enough to hold on to the stock so it will drag on your shirt and then it'll start to bunch up like that and come off what a mess uh, to be honest uh Maybe like a decelerator, like one of those uh, butt pads you put on and then you have to sand down to fit the stock perfectly. Maybe I'll get one of those, but then again, the forend wobbles. <laughs> so it's not like this gun was going to be great anyway. A lot of wobble. At least it has an ejector, you know. <clears throat> but. Yeah, the, the, even the barrel wobbles. <laughs> I know there's ways to tighten this up, but if I tighten this up, then it's going to be harder to put back together and take it apart. It, it hasn't failed yet, so, you know, wh wh why bother? I have, I have here a 2x4 with a 1 8 inch mild steel plate bolted to the front of it. Back behind it is an empty computer tower. I like to salvage parts, and uh, I'm currently running that computer as my main work rig. Uh, inside, well, I mean, I removed all the parts, but inside are uh, three catalogs. Maybe I'll catch a bullet, maybe I won't, but I, I'm nearly certain this thing with 185 grain Fire point, no soft point. Remington, Remington interlocks. That that's what they're called. 185 grains, being pushed by about 44 grains of Rem, uh, of Winchester 748. I think that's the powder I'm using. <coughs> uh, let's give it a shot. That went through. <coughs> So, now I'm gonna test that computer case. I got a bunch of wax slugs in the shadows because they melt. And, uh, well, we're gonna try some birdshot first. I'm gonna aim right at that red dot. Let's try it one more time. That split the wood in half. The wood was split, but it did stop the slug. At least, looks like the slug broke apart uh, before it hitting. I mean, I did cheap out. I'm using a uh, candle wax, so. That, yeah, that smashed it. It's all in pieces now. When the slug works, it does work. Uh, you can see big bulge, big nasty bulge on the back. Smashed the wood into pieces. Uh, quite hot, actually. I think this stuff is mild steel. So, when it works, it really does work. But uh, with that kind of uh, failure rate, I got uh, a slug mold in the mail. Uh, one of those giant uh, Lyman 525s, uh, except uh, made by a company called Zvrog, whatever you call it. 
Oh, they're the Russian slug makers. And uh, those are supposed to come in at 1.2 ounce, uh, ounces. If I could get some long shot powder, maybe some new holes like Cheddite, uh, I can easily get the wads. Uh, that that's no problem. They're not gonna run out of cork anytime soon. If I can uh, get that stuff together, I should be well, doing some three-inch magnum loads. Uh, 1.2 ounces at about 1,500 feet a second. I mean, out of a longer barrel. Who knows? Maybe this thing can also. Uh, this little rattler can do it too. But, uh, you know. sure it's up to the task. I'm not entirely sure about my shoulder. I'm gonna try to pop the lower half. Uh, I have a black slug in here right now. I'm gonna uh, shoot the left target. You see a lot of effect downrange. A uh, bird shot on the right. Not, not as much. Uh, let's take it out. 